Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to enter bills already paid. My name is Matt Hallquist with the QuickBooks University, and this can happen pretty frequently in business uh, when you're maybe using bank feeds and somebody has paid a bill already. It could be the business owner, it could be somebody else. Maybe the check comes through through the bank feed, but a bill has not been entered, uh, or maybe it's paid on a debit card, but there was a bill that hasn't been received yet, it can happen for any number of reasons. But in QuickBooks, when you wanna track uh, bills so that you're getting the expense in the right time period, but you have entered it in the check register or it has come out as a debit card transaction or whatever, and, it's, and then you receive a bill, but you wanna put that bill in there. So this video is gonna show you how to offset those two. Okay, so what I have set up an example here and I'm gonna show you if I go over to my check register, this uh, expense right here to Pacific Paint Supplies on December 15th was entered with a check. And this could be a debit card transaction. It could be anything. In this case, it's a check that was written and it was just entered directly in QuickBooks as cost of goods sold on December 15th for $1,076.25. All right, so we want to go in and we want to reflect the fact that this bill came in for November. November 30th. So when we say, okay, this bill came in November 30th, it was an expense for November and not for December, then we want to put this bill in and we want to offset this expense against that bill. All right. So if you get this bill and you say, all right, it's already put into QuickBooks right here, you can do a couple of things, but I'm going to show you one way that is going to be uh, a little bit simpler, so it's going to leave this check in there. You don't have to delete this. You don't have to void it. Uh, we're going to put in the bill, and then we're going to offset this against that bill. All right. So what we want to do is you're going to say, okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to enter this bill. So you go to vendors, enter bills. We're going to say Pacific Paint Supplies. Okay. 1215. We're going to put in the date of the bill. So we're going to enter this just like any other bill that we typically get. We're going to say... 1,076.25, we'll say the bill due date, we'll say that it's due, uh, let's say December 31st, and you're gonna put it to the right account or the items, all right? So you're just gonna specify what this goes to. So right now, if I save this, I'm gonna have a bill out there, but I'm gonna have a payment as well, and the payment is not gonna be offset. So you do have to be careful when you do this. You know, I suggest doing one at a time. If you have multiple uh, bills to enter like this to offset, do one at a time so you don't lose track. All right, so you're gonna put this in here and say, save and close. Okay, we're gonna say that there was a password set on there. Uh, let's see, we do not have a class, so we're gonna leave that blank. Of course, you're gonna fill all that in if you have that. Now, so right now I've got the expense in there, 1,076.25, and I've got a bill. And this is why I say do it one at a time, because if you lose track of this and you go to pay bills, there's going to be a bill in here for, let's see, Pacific Paint Supplies. So you, you run the risk of paying this twice, okay? So what we're gonna do, we've got this bill. You're gonna go back to your check register or you can go to the original check, okay, either way. So if I double click this, it's gonna take me to the check or I can do it directly in my check register right here. What you wanna do is change your account to accounts payable, okay? So originally it had the expense in there, but now we're gonna change it to accounts payable. All right, you're gonna click record You've saved the change of transaction. Please choose a vendor. Okay. So I've got the one line item. So I want to double click this, go to the check. Okay. We have to put uh, the vendor in here as Pacific Paint Supplies. I know that it says customer, but you want to specify who this goes to. You've got to put the name in there. All right. So let me click save and close, get rid of all this. Okay, so now we have this saved, and I know that's a little confusing to put the customer job name in there and put the vendor, but let me show you why that's important. So now, if I go to vendors, pay bills, we go to Pacific Paint Supplies, I click check, all right? 
you're going to see a credit now show up. The reason this credit shows up is because we changed that account to accounts payable and we specified the name. All right. So now we want to say set credits. We're going to set that credit against that bill. So now we're showing that zero is being paid and we say pay select bills. All right. Now I want to make sure you understand why uh, this happens is because when you enter a bill in QuickBooks, it puts it in as the expense, but it also puts it to accounts payable. Accounts payable are bills that you have to pay. So it's going to show up as an accounts payable. So that's why we go back to that original transaction in the check register. We open up the check and we change the account from cost of goods sold to accounts payable because we want it to show up as a credit. And now to show it up, to have it show up as a credit for this specific vendor, Pacific Paint Supplies, you've got to put their name in there. It's not enough just to show uh, the payable to in the check. You've got to actually show it under that customer job um, column so that you can specify it goes against Pacific Paint Supplies. All right, so once you do that, then you come to pay bills, check off the bill, set the credit, and it'll show that this is offset with that credit, and now we have an amount to pay of zero. So we say pay selected bill, and it's done. So now we'll see that this is offset against accounts payable. If I go to vendors pay bills, we'll see that Pacific Paint Supply is not in here anymore, and we have offset that bill with an existing check. So this can be used for any number of uh, bills that you want to enter in the past. Uh, if you have a lot of bills, uh, there can be some other ways to do this uh, that you don't necessarily have to enter the bills. In this case, when you have one or two in here that you want to go back and fix, this is going to be the best way to do it. Any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below. Head over to the QuickBooks University, become a member over there. would love to have you join us uh, where I answer your personal questions when you do become a member. The website is qbuniversity.org.